I bought an eye tracker that tracks every single thing I look at while I'm playing GeoGuessr. I'm gonna do a couple of no moving games and then I'll do some speed runs and then top the video off with some 0.1 second games. So it should be fun and I hope you enjoy. Let's just start off with some speed runs and you guys can just watch how I speed run games as I, um, when I'm like just speed running, just see what I'm looking at. Um, might be a little helpful to see kind of where my eyes go, things like that. What I use to make educated guesses here. It looks like the Christchurch hedges. It's turkey bollards, turkey landscape. The infill to uh, green. This could be Borneo. It was Borneo Sarawak. Um, so not too bad start there. We'll take it. Just Kenya snorkel. Uh, Indonesia. Calling the town of Sulawesi. Makes sense. What is this? Romania? Yeah, it's just Romania here. Um, after this, I'll do some more explained guesses here. Um, but yeah, South Korea there. This looks like it's going to be just Mexico. Um, we'll do one more. Uh, Finland. Netherlands. Austria. Brazil. Right near Sao Paulo. Yep. Um, looks like Southern Arge, somewhere down here. Can be Chile. Well, wow. I'll take that. Now let's try just doing some no move, and I'll explain more of my guesses here. Um, immediately have a yellow sign here, which is found in like Slovenia, Croatia, Monte. Um, and we have this bollard, which is uh, also found in those countries. Um, we also have a rift, which, you know, narrows down to three from Montenegro. Um, usually the rifts are more in the north. Um, driving left, um, license plates, banners here, architecture, all leads to um, Indonesia. We have a black gen for a car, driving left, um, Indonesian license plates. Um, you're going to feel these like overall, these like banners I think are super common in Indonesia. Um, so I'll go Sumatra here. It was just Borneo or Kalimantan. Um, low cam is Switzerland. Um, so this is a privacy thing and you can see like the wide blur on the bottom is very common in Switzerland and Japan. Also, you get it sometimes in Taiwan. We have a yellow back plate here, which is helpful. And then we have a yellow front plate, which tells me Netherlands with this architecture. Um, next round here, we have a long antenna. These mountains, everything here screams Iceland here. Um, it's like very boxy architecture. Um, yeah, I mean, this is pretty distinct. You get these symptoms in Faroe Islands, kind of it's like same formation of mountains, but the car is different, so you kind of have to be in Iceland here. And we got what else we got. Um, this is a Brazil, back of Brazil car. Um, double yellow inner lines, white outer lines, some fences, pretty dry. It makes me want to go somewhat northeast here. Um, yeah, the back of the Brazil car, you get like this kind of white blur. Um, it's more west, but that's fine. Here, it looks like we're going to be in like Colombia, Brazil again. We have a Colombian cross. Um, so this cross on the back is Colombian. This looks like um, we have a black car, which means Argentina, Uruguay, or um, Peru. But immediately this looks nothing like Peru. It's gonna be Argentina, Uruguay. And then notice we don't have a black dot on a license plate here, which means we're gonna be in Uruguay. Because uh, Argentina has a black dot on their license, in the center of their blurred license plate. Um, yellow plates, yellow outer line here. Um, very, very common in Israel. Yellow outer lines are found in like Israel, Jordan, um, but with yellow. Um, other countries as well, but with the yellow plate, that's gonna be, this is an interesting one. Um, I have a black car. Black car usually means um, Peru, Argentina, Uruguay. It also can mean like Malaysia, um, but this looks more like Peru than anything to me, I think. Um, Kind of looking around here, look, the car Loki looks like it's driving left, but I think that's just a, uh, a um, maybe just a one way. So I'll go somewhere like on the eastern side of Peru here, maybe more north. Um, yeah, let's just up there, more north. So using the car there to your advantage is helpful. Um, looks like we have Turkish bollards, Turkey signs. Um, this language is very Turkish with the U. Um, Australia has the same bollards, but Australia drives left. Um, and overall, it's like very green and luscious, which makes me think it's going to be more north near the coastline here. And it was 
very north near the coastline. We'll take that next round. Um, so immediately we have these Mexico poles. Um, it's like octagonal. Um, and we also have these like brick walls or like these stone walls, which are very common in uh, Yucatan region of Mexico. Um, also, this truck is just very, it's very common in Mexico. Um, but with these like brick walls or these cobblestone, the walls in general, uh, very, very common in Yucatan. Oh, there's Yucatan there. This is New Zealand. Um, we have New Zealand poles here um, with the possum guard, very green. Um, overall, we have New Zealand bollard here, bollard here which helps. Um, we're driving left, you can tell that because the sign is facing left here. Um, and overall, very big mountains, I usually just go South Island here. Um, so I'll make an educated guess somewhere, maybe over here near Nelson. Uh, it was near Queenstown, down there more south. Um, driving left here, we have this tall grass with a white car driving left. And these like very uh, collective trees are very common in Eswatini. Um, this grass is commonly called the Eswatini grass where it's like very um, tall and um, same color. Um, and you get those trees more Western. So this is an interesting one. Definitely gonna be like Indonesia or Malaysia here. I actually might get this wrong to be honest. Um, it's one of the two. Kind of looks the same to me to be honest. Um, this looks maybe more Indonesian to me though. Um, this this banner here, this like sign. Same with this kind of architecture. It feels more maybe Sumatra region. region. Not entirely sure to be honest. Um, it doesn't really feel like mainland Malay, which would have to be with a high quality camera here. It looks like we might have a black Gen 4 car as well. So I'll go somewhere in Indo here. It was just central Java, but nothing too bad. We'll take that. Let's just do one more. Um, we have Gen 2, which is only found. Gen 2 is this like kind of lesser quality camera. You get the wide blur on top and you get the, the wide blur on bottom. Um, with short plates and, and Spanish, you have to be in Mexico with the Gen 2. All very helpful. And that was just Tijuana. Makes sense. Um, next round here, we have an antenna. Uh, blue serpent license plate means we're gonna be in the EU. Um, language here that isn't too, too familiar with me. Um, if that's a sticker in the back, I'm more inclined to go like, uh, actually that wouldn't really make any sense. Oh, we have a rift. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so rift here inclines Monty or Albania, but we have one single blue strip, if I believe. And Albania would either have a red strip or it's double blue. So I'm more inclined to go Monty here. Even though it kind of does look like Albania, I have to trust the, that this is a single blue strip. So I'll go, go Northern Monty. What was just Northern Monty? This is fun. It looks like we're driving left immediately. We have a language here that looks English, um, which inclined that we're going to be in the UK here. I can't, I can't see back plates. Usually in uh, the UK, you'll get yellow back plates, which you don't see in Ireland, but um, maybe up here. No, we don't have anything up there. Um, don't know my area codes either, but yeah, um, very common to get these like tall hedges on the side of the road too in the UK and Ireland. Um, but driving left with English would indicate the UK or Ireland. Um, we have a sign that ends in TIE, that's Finnish. Um, and overall, just very, um, the birch. Um, kind of feels more north to me, to be honest. Region guessing in Finland is kind of tough for me, but um, especially with like these these like green Scandinavian houses, or green, yeah, uh, red Scandinavian houses, uh, it was north. And then let's do final one here. We have the Tunisia follow car. It's more light in color, which is usually found north. So um, I think it's in from like Tunisia or Tunis to, um, I think, Monas Monastir, um, but usually found more north, so capital here. It was just outside capital, so not bad. Let's try so I can only see the image for 0 0.1 seconds and see how I fare now with uh, with this big turkey there. Nice. But Sri Lanka. Nice. Indonesia. Nice. Brazil. Nice. Norway. Nice. Five for five. We'll take it. Let's do one more. See how I do. Uh, it looked like Borneo. Yeah, it was Malay. But, I mean, it still was Malay. This looks like Brazil. Maybe somewhat southish. Um, yeah, it was more south. Kenya snorkel. Pretty standard there. That looked like Mexico. That's Australia. So let's see if I remember anything. 
those gargoyles, it did feel kind of like in this region. It wasn't in this W. Not too bad. All right, we're going to call it there. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that helped. If you guys want to see more of these videos, let me know. I could be, I could go in more depth on maybe explain my process, do more slower rounds, maybe do quicker rounds, different challenges. I think playing with the eye tracker is pretty fun. So if you guys want to see more of that, let me know in the comments. And um, of course, don't forget to subscribe. Everyone that's been subbing lately from all the different communities have been amazing. So I appreciate everyone, you know, joining this community with us and being a part of it. But yeah, thank you guys. And I'll see you next video.